Hello, this is Jack Spierka with the Marketing Ice Group, and today we're going to show you a really simple thing. Uh, some of you may not even need to really watch too much of this uh, lesson because you may already be using Mozilla Firefox as your browser of choice. But even if you are, you may learn a little bit just by watching some of the features I'm going to show about Firefox. There are going to be some fairly basic ones after I do the download. But right now, if you look at your screen, what you're going to see is my live.com start page. But you're going to see it in Internet Explorer, which is probably still the most popular browser. And many of our new members may be using Internet Explorer today. Let me tell you something, folks. I'm not anti-Microsoft. This is not a bash on Microsoft. We're going to actually show you some really cool things that Microsoft makes available for Internet marketers in future lessons. Right now, you're looking at Windows Live. I use this every day, and I have all types of stuff in here and all types of feeds uh, that I keep an eye on to keep up with news and information uh, around the Internet and just to keep up with cool things like weather. That's a Microsoft product. So this is not bashing Microsoft. Microsoft, but what we are all about is teaching you how to be a better internet marketer and a better owner of an internet business. And when it comes down to that, the best tool for the application is Mozilla Firefox. And we're going to show you a lot of things in the future that are going to depend on you using Mozilla Firefox. We're going to show you plugins that give you competitive information. We're going to show you all types of things, and if you're not using Firefox, you're not going to be able to avail yourself of them. So because of that we wanted to start out with something real simple like let's make sure that everybody that's taking part in the marketing ice groups uh, training is got Mozilla Firefox on their machine so how do you get Mozilla Firefox it's really easy you go to mozilla.com which is m-o-z-i-l-l-a dot com and once you're there it's going to be pretty obvious what to do it says download Firefox for free. And trust me, it is free. They never even asked for an email address. You hit download, and it'll prompt you, do you want to run or save the application? Now, I actually think you should save the application, then open it up and run it off your machine. That way you have a copy of uh, whatever version you're downloading. So if you ever want to revert to an old version, it's there. I already have this. I'm just doing this to show you how, so I'm just going to go ahead and run it. Uh, and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording because I'm not going to make you sit here while the, uh, the the product downloads. Okay, well, I'm back. That didn't take too long over my DSL connection. Uh, anyway, now we're going to see a security warning come up. Basically what this is, is Microsoft sees that I'm trying to download an executable file from the Internet, and they're warning me about it. Uh, but I know who the publisher is. It's Mozilla. You can trust them. I'm telling you of the two, I trust Mozilla more than Microsoft. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Run. And uh, you're going to see the files extract and, and this install. I'm going to go ahead and pause this again. At, well, I'm not actually yet. I'm going to go ahead and uh, walk you through what you do. It's a real simple wizard. If you ever installed any software, pretty simple. Uh, I simply hit Next. You'll notice I can't hit Next now because it wants to make sure that I accept the terms of the agreement. If you want to bore yourself reading this, you can. I have no idea what it says. I trust Mozilla quite well. Thank you. Leave it on standard. You don't need a custom installation. Hit next. And now I am going to pause while the... Okay, so here we are back. The install has happened. It wants to know, do you want to launch Firefox now? Absolutely. So I'm going to leave that box checked. I'm going to hit finish. And I'm just going to wait for just a second as the install takes place. And you're going to see that it's going to go ahead and launch. It's going to go right to my start page. Again, this is because I already have Firefox and I use it every day. I'm going to pull up... Internet Explorer's window real quick and close it. Okay, that's all this video was going to be because we just wanted to make sure you had Firefox and we figured if you see me install it, you see it on my computer, well, you would know that installing you know, Mozilla Firefox is not going to blow up your computer. Some people are very reluctant to go to a new technology. But if you look at it on my screen here, the look and feel is very similar to what Internet Explorer looks like. It's a browser. It works just like Internet Explorer in a lot of ways. If I want to go somewhere, I type that address in here. I can see whatever web page I'm on. 
on. This is the same web page you started with. Probably doesn't look that much different to you. But what I thought is, okay, if I'm going to go ahead and give you the first lesson on how to install Mozilla Firefox, which is pretty lame, uh, especially if you already had it, maybe I should actually give you some reasons that you should be using Mozilla and show you some of the common features that are available in Mozilla Firefox. One is tab browsing. And yes, the latest uh, version of Internet Explorer has this as well. But uh, Mozilla is kind of the uh, originator of this feature, and it's a very cool feature, and it's something you can get uh, really attracted to using. And it, it, it's exactly why Internet Explorer even added this, because so many people went and tried Firefox, and once they saw this, they never went back. So the Microsoft folks had to combat it. All I have to do to open up a new tab is just go to File, New Tab, or as our buddy Mark Pereira likes to do, I can also hit Control t That will also open a new tab. You can see now that I have two new tabs open. Uh, let's just drop one over to one of our blogs that we maintain, comtechnews.net, and we'll just put the other one on Google. Okay. That's just to give something on the screen so we have a place to go, and I'm going to show you something cool with a blog in a little bit anyway. Uh, I'm also going to, let's say, I want to go and, let's say I wanted to search for images on Google. Well, what if I want to keep the original Google page open? I can go open in new tab. So now I've got the image search in this tab and the Google uh, uh, box in this tab. What that means is any time that you're on any website anywhere and you want to open a link that's going to take you off the site but you don't really want to leave the site, instead of opening this new browser window, you can open this new browser tab. This keeps everything nice and clean and you don't end up with like a bazillion windows at the bottom of your screen. You just have this nice organized tabbed browsing feature. Alright, well I'm going to have to go ahead and conclude this part of our video. Be sure to tune in for part two to see the rest of the presentation. And thank you for watching. And we'd like to thank you for watching this video. This video was copyright 2007 by the ICE Marketing Group, LLC. For more videos and to learn how you can be a more successful Internet marketer, visit www.marketingice.com.